to our second session. This session is on the digital revolution, fostering innovation, infrastructure and investment. Um, we have our speakers on stage. They're each going to have 10 minutes and you'll know who doesn't want to ask an, or uh, answer any questions because if they go over 10 minutes, it's to cut short the question time. So hopefully that's an incentive to keep everybody on um, the 10 minutes. I also want to make you aware that uh, there's been a change of speaker from Latvia, Mr. Roland Stradins, Councillor of the Minister on Digital in Latvia, uh, will contribute in the place of Arturs Tom Plesch, which is in your programme book. So thank you, Roland, for joining us. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker for the digital session. It's Mr. Tonis Nirk, who's Ambassador at Large for Digital Affairs in Estonia. Please welcome Tonis. Uh, thank you very much indeed, and it's uh, my great pleasure and honor to, uh, to be here today with you and to speak about the uh, digital cooperation between Nordic Baltic countries and Ireland, and uh, specifically from the point of view of uh, public uh, e-services. And I will make um, three uh, uh, points, uh, touch upon three issues. First of all, very briefly about uh, Estonian e-services ecosystem. Uh, uh, secondly, I will talk about uh, the Nordic-Baltic cooperation from the Estonian perspective, of course, and then uh, give some ideas from our side uh, about the uh, Nordic-Baltic and Irish uh, cooperation in the digital area. Uh, so, very, very briefly about uh, where we are uh, in terms of e-services development um, in Estonia. Uh, we have started to develop our e-governance system more than 20 years ago. Uh, today we have reached the stage where practically all the public services are available digitally, with the exception of uh, three uh, services which are kind of major life-changing uh, events like uh, buying real estate or getting married. Um, secondly, uh, the essential features of uh, the e-governance system uh, in Estonia, they are quite unique, uh, so I, I have kind of uh, underlined them here in, in the presentation. First of all, we have kind of a unique uh, eco, uh, in infrastructure, uh, the uh, digital ID, which is compulsory for every uh, uh, person who lives in Estonia, and um, uh, the uh, a digital interoperability system, what we call X-Road, which connects all the different databases in Estonia. A uh, second uh, feature is that the uh, services are built in a very uh, user-friendly way, so the take-up rate by the, uh, by the citizens uh, and, and businesses uh, is very high. And thirdly, uh, the privacy and uh, security concerns have been taken into account right from the beginning. So the secure by design principle has been always one of the founding principles of our uh, e-governance system. Uh, what we have paid quite a lot of attention to educating the users of the uh, different uh, digital services, starting uh, fr from the school kids, of course, but not forgetting also the elderly, so we have a special program uh, targeted towards um, retired people and the popularity of this is, is very high. And uh, finally, I would like to underline the cooperation between the government and the private sector, which has been very successful. Vast majority of the services what we use today in Estonia uh, are actually developed by the Estonian tech companies, Estonian tech companies, not the multinationals. Um, so the cooperation with uh, the, the government has been very positive and very good. Uh, with regard to the Nordic and uh, Baltic cooperation, uh, the um, uh, ministers for digital development of the Nordic Baltic countries declared in 2017 already the ambition to become the uh, digital front runners in Europe. Not, uh, perhaps not, uh, perhaps also in the world. Uh, so the, the um, aim is to become the most interconnected region uh, in Europe. Uh, it's not an objective in itself. Uh, it, it is a tool. It is a, it is a tool to strengthen the competitiveness of companies, and it is a tool to make the life of uh, people in our region easier. 
So, uh, so this is a very, very ambitious approach. Uh, the major areas of cooperation and uh, our priorities there, I would like to mention uh, cross-border interoperability. Um, we have uh, formed a consortium with uh, Finland uh, to develop the uh, interoperability system, what we call X-Road together. And uh, now also Iceland and the Faroe Islands have uh, become partners in this consortium. We very much hope that all the countries in the Nordic Baltic region can join this consortium so that we could develop the uh, interoperability system together in the, in the, in the region. Uh, secondly, <clears throat> the uh, digital IDs. Uh, all the countries in the region have digital IDs, but uh, to, to, to a quite extent, these can be used at the moment only nationally. So the Nordic and Baltic uh, governments have an ambition that by the end of uh, next year, uh, the digital IDs could be mutually recognized and mutually used. I just checked a couple of days ago, in fact, that with my Estonian digital ID, I could only enter to the Latvian, uh, latvia.lv uh, government portal, uh, not to any, any other system. And also, not, uh, uh, no uh, digital ID from, the, from this group of countries can be used to enter the Estonian uh, uh, government portal at the moment. Uh, so, so uh, or for example, fin, uh, Finnish uh, digital uh, government platform can only be exceeded by German uh, digital uh, ID. So this is this is a, this is a challenge. So in order to um, foster the cross cross border cooperation and uh, cross border ac accessibility, the di digital IDs have to be recognised. Uh, in this region. Uh, third uh, area of cooperation is um, real-time economy solutions. And here we talk about different, um, different um, uh, logistical uh, solutions for, uh, for example, transport companies, uh, solutions uh, with regard to know your customer, uh, which is a huge issue in today's world, and also the <coughs> e-documents like e-receipts. Uh, then um, another area of uh, regional cooperation is uh, 5G. Latvia is organizing in November a 5G conference for the Nordic and Baltic uh, governments, which is a very, very important event. And uh, also there are quite a number of bilateral and sub-regional um, projects. Uh, they are very much uh, concentrated on very specific areas like e-health. Um, there, there is a project uh, between Estonia and Finland, for example, to recognize each other's um, uh, digital uh, medical prescriptions. Estonia is, is next year the chair of the Baltic uh, Cooperation and also the coordinator of the uh, Nordic and Baltic Cooperation. Uh, one of the priority issues for us will be the digital cooperation. I, I noticed that I have very little time left. Uh, so next year we, will, we hope to bring this, uh, this agenda further to, in the framework of our uh, uh, coordinate, coordinator uh, role. With regard to the island and uh, Nordic-Baltic uh, cooperation, we see um, island and Nordic-Baltic very much as uh, like-minded partners in terms of uh, digital uh, issues, digital development. So we very much welcome further discussions and further dialogue between the Nordic-Baltic and, and island in these matters. There are different uh, potential areas what we can discuss uh, more among us. Uh, the EU digital single market issues, for example, is one, one of the possibilities. But also um, we think that the emerging technologies and data economy is, is an area where we all have um, 
interest and where we all are quite well developed so we could have uh, more discussion and more dialogue on these issues in the future as well. Thank you.